Number two, hearing the voice of God behind the verse of scripture. It builds hearing the voice of God behind the verse of scripture it builds faith and that is in the course of studying the word hearing the voice of God behind the verse of scripture it builds faith that's in the course of studying the word or you can rephrase it like hearing the voice of God that is behind the verse of scripture in the course of studying the word builds faith Psalm 29 verse 3 said the voice of the Lord is upon the waters and what is that water? the word according to Ephesians 5 26 that he may cleanse Him by the washing of water by the wall, it builds faith. Am I communicating? Ay, 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 ay. Please, the first one I mentioned deeper inside, our reference already was Acts chapter 8, verse 30 to 31, and 35 to 37. Hearing the voice of God now, behind the verse of scripture, in the course of studying the word, builds faith. No weapon fashioned against you, formed against you shall prosper. Isaiah chapter 54, verse 17. No weapon that is formed against you shall prosper. That is, I just read the verse. Am I communicating? How many of you are following what I'm saying? Then I'm asking God, what is that passage saying? No weapon formed against you shall prosper. And every tongue that rises against you in judgment thou shalt condemn this is the heritage of the servants of the Lord and their righteousness is of me say the Lord and then I hear the voice of the Lord saying out of that passage my servants those who serve me have an inheritance of divine protection Ooh. I didn't read it from the passage. I heard it as the voice behind the verse. No weapon formed against you shall prosper. What am I hearing? What are you saying? I am saying the weapon that can succeed against you shall not be manufactured. shall not be manufactured Gabadaya. and that devil is a bastard <laughs> let the devil to hell with you and your and your agents you hear such a thing out of that same passage it jumps into your spirit you rise with an audacity when you combine it again with other things that God shows you. So the voice behind the verse of scripture fires faith into your spirit. The more frequent and like I said before, hearing that voice of that passage then positions you to hear the voice outside the passage. You are not studying the Bible now. The same verse, the same voice that talked to you that said, the weapon that can succeed against you will never be manufactured. That same voice said, that man asking you to bring money for business is a bad man. You put your money, except you are interested in losing it. Hallelujah. So it builds faith. That is number two. First, the insight of scripture and then the voice. The third one is seeing. 
the word. I already mentioned that. Seeing the word and not just reading or hearing the word builds faith. Seeing the word of God and not just reading or hearing the word in the course of study builds faith. Seeing the word. God is saying something. You are seeing something. Habakkuk chapter 2 verse 1 to 3. I will stand upon my watch and set me upon the tower. And I will watch to see what he will say unto me and what I, will, I shall answer when I am reproved. I will watch to see what he will say. Jeremiah 2 31 said O generation see ye the word of the Lord see the word don't just read the word don't just hear the word see the word somebody say amen somebody say louder amen then Moses was 120 years old when he died Deuteronomy chapter 34 verse 7. His eye wasn't dim. His natural force was not reduced. So you see in your mind's eye on the spot. A 120 year old man. Not squeezing his eyes to read anything. Moving like the message Bible said with spring in his feet. With his energy like he was 30 years old. 120. He was. You see the Bible paints the picture in scripture. So you can capture the same picture. And venture to feature. He paints the picture of the scripture. So you can capture the same picture. And venture to feature in the picture you captured. He said he was 120 years old. And he said of all the prophets in the Old Testament, there is none reason greater than John the Baptist. But he that is smallest in the kingdom is greater than John. John was greater than Moses according to scripture. And then you are greater than John. Which means whatever Moses experienced, you can experience. So he said that you saw the picture. You saw the picture of you on your feet at 70. If Jesus tarries. At 80, without holding walking stick. At 90, jumping like I used to jump from the altar in area one. <laughs> My wife used to look at me and say, please don't jump again, please. <laughs> you say, I know you can jump. Please. Hallelujah. And you see the picture. It becomes clear. Nobody doubts what he sees. No, even in the world, it says seeing is believing. You study scripture, so today you saw something. Then faith becomes automatic. I see somebody shifting level. Can I give you three counsels in the building of your faith? Number one, ask God to open your eyes to see depths out of scripture. It builds faith. Open my eyes. Psalm 119 verse 18. Open down my eyes. That I may behold wondrous things out of thy law. If deeper things are the things deeper inside build faith. Don't just approach scripture carelessly. Ask God, open my eyes. To behold wondrous things out of thy law. You can plead the blood in case the, the thing becomes too difficult. Because by the breaking of the bread, like we are going to do tonight, 
The Bible says their eyes were open. Was that not Luke 24, 30 and 31? Their eyes were open. And their eyes were open. And they knew him. Verse 30. By the breaking of the bread. As he broke the bread. That represents the body and the blood. Their eyes opened. And they saw the word. Open my eyes. Let me not just ordinarily read the scripture or ordinarily memorize it. Let me begin to see depths, to see wonders. There are many things we see that we did not see. Secondly, ask God to cause you to hear his voice. That is inside the verse of scripture. Let me hear your voice. Jeremiah chapter 6 verse 16 says, Stand in the way. And see. And ask for the old parts. What is the way? The word. I am the way, the truth and the life. That is Jesus and that is the word. Stand in the ways. When you are inside the world, ask. Somebody say amen. Lord, what are you saying to me? Lord, what is this scripture saying? Lord, what do you want me to hear? Ask God to cause you to hear his voice. It explodes your faith. Finally. Ask God to turn the scriptures for you into clear pictures these three prayers I want you to pray tonight either in this sanctuary or at home to turn the scriptures for you into clear pictures let me not just hear what you are saying Lord let me see what you are saying Habakkuk chapter 2 verse 2 and 3 let me see what you are saying Ephesians 1 16 Ephesians 1, 16, 17, 18. Eyes of your understanding being enlightened. I pray for you that your eyes will be enlightened to know what is the hope of your calling. It's a new day for you. It's a new day for you. Who received something tonight? What you have received tonight is more like a Bible school training or um, a, con a conference of ministers or something. But it's, it has shifted your life already. Say a louder amen. As we take the communion tonight, your eyes will be open. Your ears will be open. Your understanding will be open. You will see scripture like never before. If you are a believer, stand on your feet and shout the loudest amen. The loud most amen.